Uh, do you work at this museum? Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Eckhart. I've just taken over for my father as the director of this museum. What? You are Eckhart? Yes. Is there anything I can do for you? N no nothing. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I have to think about what we're going to call her. Great to meet you. Bye. The Z-pad. It doesn't work. Well, how about that? Just a small example of what I can do. How will you get home now? You'd better solve that on your own. You should be able to handle a little thing like that, Ike. What am I... what am I supposed to do? There used to be something in here. If I get some... I woke up early so I could buy some freshly baked bread. Now I can get back. Well, what do you think? Are you a little more convinced? Come in. Is that you, Ike? Can I ask you something? Sure. What? Eckhart, do you have a daughter? It's all right. I'll I'll take care of it later. I'm sorry. I don't think I ever mentioned my daughter to you. Well, no. I do have a daughter, or rather, I did. She was taken by some madman right after she was born. My wife was killed in the same attack. Does that answer your question? I'm sorry. I had no idea. It's all right. Don't worry about it. I'm so sorry. Why? Why? Any luck? Well? Okay. I'll believe you, for now. However, I am grateful that you gave me another chance at life. 
Hmm. Now we're really talking, Ike. You see, I'm counting on you. If you die, I'll be in trouble too, you know? I don't really get it, but are you sure about this? I mean, I can't do anything but take care of myself. But that's all right. It's the way things should be. As you can see, my body is very fragile and won't let me do much. I picked up a baby the other day and it was really quite terrible. Absolutely exhausted me. I won't ever do that again. So, because of all that, I can only provide you with some backup aid. Oh, I almost forgot. You will see that red stone again sometime. When you do, could you acquire it somehow? I would like you to give it to someone called Dr. Wagner. That's all for now. I'll be seeing you. What on earth is going on around here? Are you all right? Isn't there any way you can avoid being stabbed to death? What about putting something like an iron plate under your clothing? And if you make good use of that, perhaps. <laughs> Please make a good job of it. Oh, yes? Do you work at this museum? Museum? What? This building is... This? This is my home. We've been here for generations. As the descendants of the regional squire. But now... First was my parents. Now my wife. All in such a short time. That leaves just myself and the two children in this castle of a house. You're right. It's too large for just the three of us. Perhaps it ought to be a museum, just as you say. I'm sorry. No, no, I didn't mean that as sarcasm. Don't be offended. Actually, I'm grateful for the advice. To tell you the truth, I've been thinking that I should just get rid of this house. Too many memories of my wife to bring me sorrow. But a museum? That's something I hadn't thought of. Hmm. Maybe a good thing, a museum. Perhaps this is meant to be. There are enough pictures in that collection of my forebears. It seems he had an artist he favored. You mean Carl Franzen? 
Huh, how did you know that? Are you checking into this house? I don't remember telling anyone that it was for sale yet. No, uh, please don't misunderstand. It's just that I happen to like his paintings, and it's not like, you know... Well, all right then. I've made up my mind. I'll... Hmm. I'll turn a part of this building into a private museum and open the collection of paintings to the public. That way I can take care of the children while I work. Besides, I know that there's at least one admirer of Carl Franzen's work. All right, that's what I'll do. I owe you many thanks. By the way, allow me to introduce myself, if somewhat belatedly. My name is Alfred Brum. Nice to meet you. I'm Ike Kush. I'm grateful to you, Ike. Come inside. We'll have tea or something. Okay. Hmm? Oh, sorry. He's just gone to sleep, finally. Good. Now I need you to do something for me, Sibylla. Will you please make tea for our guest? Oh, if I must. Here you go. Ah, thank you for the tea, dear. Oh, yes, I should tell my sweet Sibylla. I've decided to turn this house into a museum. Well, what do you think? Whatever you decide is always good enough for me. Thank you. I was a little afraid that you'd object. Oh, it's much, much better than selling this house. <laughs> I see. I'm sorry I made you worry that much. I know. Let's have a photograph taken. If we're going to start a museum, we'll need to renovate. We'll all get a picture taken with the house before then. Please join us, Ike. There's no time like the present. I'll fetch the photographer this instant. Mr. Franzen? This early in the morning? Franzen? Oh, yes. He's descended from the painter Carl Franzen. Maybe that's why he's a photographer. He's a good friend of mine. I can count on him to come if I need him. Just wait a little while. He'll be here in no time. Sibylla, you hold the fort and watch the baby, please. Of course. Did you persuade Father not to sell the house? No, I didn't do anything like that. This is something your father decided on his own. Oh, I see. I'm just awfully glad that the house won't be sold. Oh, it's coming undone here. Hmm? Give it to me. I'll mend it for you. What? No, that's okay. Don't worry. I may look little, but I can do anything. Well, anything except cooking, that is. See that? That's for Father to wear in the festival coming up. I sewed that too, so don't be shy. Are you cold? If you are, just put that costume over you. I'll be done soon. There. Almost done. <laughs> you sure look funny. <laughs> You. Let's have the picture taken like that!
Isn't that an interesting egg? Father bought it for me the other day. There's paper inside and you can write a message on it. But I don't need it anymore. You can have it. How come? I was going to write, please don't sell the house and give it to Father. But now that he said he's not going to let the house go, it's all right. Is there an iron plate? An iron plate? What do you want something like that for? Well, I just kind of need one. There's nothing like that here. What's it for? Do you need to grill something? No, nothing like that. Wait a second. What is it? A frying pan. Do you have a frying pan? You must have one. No. When Mother died, Father had all her things taken away. So we only eat what the housekeeper brings nowadays. All because no one will let me cook yet. Hmm. <gasps> Cafes and restaurants must have lots of frying pans. You're right. Good thinking, Sibylla. You're welcome. But it's too early for any of the shops to be open. Oh. Hey, you know, come to think of it, there were a bunch of frying pans in the bar where that fire was the other day. What is it? Oh, never mind. Can I borrow something to write with? And can I use this too? All right, now it's a question of whether I can make it to that time. Excuse me, there's something I have to take care of. I wonder if this'll work. I'm pretty sure this is where I saw the juggler. You're performing in the square? I'll be sure to come and watch! I guess this is as far as I go. There's a message inside. Do Ike, please get something like a thick iron plate.
I won't fall for the same trick again. I'm really sorry. I mean that. Well, I guess you wouldn't go home dressed like that. It's all set. Everyone, come out to the front. We're ready. Come on! You go on ahead. I have to go get my baby brother. All right. Hold still, please. Thank you very much. Oh, sorry, I, I dragged you out of bed. Thank you to you, too. You can change back now. That's right. I should go get changed. Huh? I thought you changed already. What? Oh, not yet. You've got a frying pan already? Oh, that. It's a long story. Excuse me, there's something I have to go do. Come again soon. Oh, and, uh, you can use that key as much as you want. What? I saw you. What are you talking about? What's the matter? You have to go somewhere, right? You shouldn't be late. Oh, that's right. Okay, see you. No, I should go back to the present from here, where other people can't see me. <laughs> listen, listen, if you want to live, want to live try, try using the tool. tool. But remember, but remember use, use it when you have just enough just time remaining. Do, do it right, and you should be able to survive. Oh, yes? Do you work at this museum? Museum?
I wonder if this will work. I guess I managed to escape, thanks to this thing. Past 8.30 already. I could use a little food. I guess being hungry is a sign that I'm alive. Hey, I could go to that place, the one with the fire earlier. Art museum or library? I heard it was a tough decision. That was almost 100 years ago. Dark and she still isn't here. Good evening. Please, have a seat over there. What's good to eat around here? Oh, everything. Meat's good, vegetables are good. If you don't have anything particular in mind, why don't you try the special? All right, I'll have that. Coming right up. You're gonna love this. The science of alchemy has as its grail two great projects. One is the synthesis of the elixir of life, that which would free mankind from all ills of the body. The other is an amalgam purely scientific in nature, the creation of a homunculus, an artificial life. Both require as their central ingredient a red stone known as the Philosopher's Stone. of
Philosopher's Stone. Could that be... Here we shall briefly examine the life of Wolfgang Wagner, whose alchemical prowess was known throughout the region. Though born a farmer's son, he became the ward of wealthy kin after his prodigious intellect was recognized, and pursued studies in medicine and theology at university. Following this period, he seems to have made his living as an apothecary while pursuing the science of alchemy. However, what secured his lasting fame was no doubt the manner in which he met his end. Amid rumors of his engagement in an experiment of great magnitude and duration, Dr. Wagner's house was shaken by a thunderous explosion. And the alchemist himself was never seen again. It is often said that a no more fitting end could have been imagined for a mages such as he. Hmm, that sounds kind of suspicious. Thanks for waiting. Here you are. Enjoy. Hello, Ike. How are things going? Have you found anything out? That's an interesting book you have there. Hmm? Want to look at it? Uh, please, don't shove that near me. I... I don't like that symbol on the cover. What, this? You don't like this pentagram kind of thing? You're a little strange. Well, of course I am. In any case, I know the contents of that book. Dr. Wagner, who is mentioned in the book, had a daughter. And she is a very significant figure to you. What? Like she's one of my ancestors? <laughs> but you see, the Z-pad is drawn to that age because of the link. Whatever it is. Please, don't forget the red stone. I'm looking forward to it. But I believe that you are the one who is fated to acquire it. Getting your hands on it will be a step towards avoiding your own death as well. Remember that. Hey, I need more! Gone again. This is really a one-sided kind of relationship. Me, and the age this book talks about. What's the connection? Oh, am I tired or something? Do you know what you, you know died of? Uh, what? It was poison, poison probably from the sea house. It uses the female of a type of sea slug as the basic raw material. You can control the rapidity of the effect and the intensity of symptoms by how you blend it. I'd say that was the culprit, but you'll need to look into the details yourself. Why don't you try the library? Oops, I guess it's the art museum now. See you around. It's the art museum now. What does that mean? Thank you. 
Ah, so that's what happened with Lord Alfred now, is it? Good morning. Finally, the spring thaw has come to Lord Alfred. I'm still not sure, you see. <laughs> what, you don't want to turn it into a museum? Well, I've thought about that, but I've got a lot of books, too. A library wouldn't be a bad idea. What do you think? Okay, you've helped me make up my mind. A library it is. He's been procrastinating like this for a while now. Talk it over with him, will you? Decide what to do with this place. I mean, really. I'm still not sure. Okay, you've helped... What's that? Excuse me? Do I know anything about poison? No, not really my strong suit. Can't you find a book on that? Poison? I'm sorry, but I really don't have a clue. Try the library. There's probably something there that could help. Why can't I produce a hit? I mean, really. I've seen you somewhere.
Think of it, she said her father did research. He may be this Dr. Wagner. They may have some sort of a link to me.